I don't remember exactly which one it was, but he built the inside of the attic to look like the inside of a whale, which I thought was like the coolest thing ever. Um, so if you guys ever get a chance to go to Barcelona, go to the Gaudi Museums. They're actually very, very cool. Highly, highly recommend. Sorry if I'm boring you guys, I am quite a bit of a nerd though. I do like art and I do like culture, so you don't like it. Sorry for you. Ooh. Why am I tired? I'm actually not tired. Hang on a second here. Oh. Yasmin, thank you for the follow. Christian Raphael, thank you for the follow. Malcolm Matterheld, I already said your name. Thank you for the follow. But yeah, you guys, I really do enjoy Barcelona. Um, just not for living. I feel like it's mostly a place where a lot of retired people come. Um, especially where I'm living and they come here to live so when I go to my gym if I want to go to a class it's mostly like 60 year olds to 70 year olds doing the workouts in the workout class and I'm the youngest one there so it's very interesting I don't think I would be able to live here for sure but not at this age but definitely for visiting, it's pretty cool. I think my favorite thing here is the fact that I live in the mountains. So I can get up in the morning and in the mountains here. And it's really pretty. There were no celebrity chefs being a restaurant owner or chef. And it's super pretty. There's also this amazing restaurant near my house. Well, it's not near it, but you can like hike up the mountain to get there. Um, but it's called Mirabe. And it has the most beautiful view of the city that I've seen at any restaurant. I've been to a lot of restaurants here so far and I think I enjoy this one the most out of all of them. Because you get to this quaint little restaurant like up in the hill. And it has the most beautiful view. It has a sitting area just to drink and hang out with your friends. And then you go inside and it's just all windows. And you can see the entire city. Um, and they have really, really good Spanish food. They have jamon. And they have like tomato bread. They have really good um, paella. Paella? Paella? I don't know. Really good fish. They have croquettes, like everything you can imagine. So yummy. It really just felt right. Um. Also, the Nobu here is really good. I don't know why it's better than all the other ones, but the one here is super good and has a view of the entire city as well. I'm a view girly. I like to go to places that have really good views. I'm all about beauty. I'm all about having a good atmosphere around me. So I really like to go to places that have a good view and a good atmosphere. So I also would recommend Nobu. What's up, King Mo? What's going on, you guys? But I know you guys mentioned London. I'm definitely excited to get back there. Um, a couple of my friends are there now, so I definitely will have a good friend base there as well. I don't have any friends here because I don't speak Catalonian. Um, I do know Spanish, don't know Catalonian. So that's been fun. So I make, I have no friends. Um, I have, if you want to see my house, I only showed my, I didn't show my entire house because I don't feel comfortable doing that. And it's a pretty big house to get through. So I only showed my favorite rooms. 
So if you want to go on my profile, you guys, I actually did do a video today, so it's recent, of my favorite rooms in my house. So you guys can check that if you'd like. Be my guest. What am I doing here? I realized that there's certain basic principles, but within those parameters, there's so much. Guys, they have these. It was completely liberating. Oh, I didn't get any questions. I didn't see any questions. Um, what was I gonna say, you guys? Oh, you guys, I, so me and my mans were sitting here today and we did research because we keep getting bit by these mosquitoes, but we can't see them and we don't see where they're coming from. There are these new species in Barcelona of mosquitoes and they're called zebra mosquitoes or like tiger mosquitoes. And they came from Asia, I think. And they're super small and super fast and they have stripes like a tiger. And they've been attacking us in the house and we can't figure out where they're coming from and they're super fast and oh, super itchy. So we did some research and it turns out that Barcelona has this new breed of mosquitoes from Asia called tiger, mos tiger mosquitoes or something. And they're super quick, super fast. Don't know where they came from. Um, well, Asia, but, but um, yeah, it's really interesting. I don't know, I'm not a fan. Really not a fan of those either. Um, would love to enjoy my backyard, but very difficult to do that when you have tiger mosquitoes zipping around the yard just attacking you every second of the day. Um, I'm actually currently getting bit right now on my elbow. So that's, you know, that's cutesy, cutesy tootsie. Um, happens a lot. Bro, I'd get a flamethrower, right? I agree. I did not see the question. There was no question. Ajax, thank you for the follow. Somebody might have banned you. I don't know if somebody banned you from commenting, but that happens sometimes. If you were being inappropriate, then maybe your comment got banned. Yeah, if they think you're being weird, which you probably may have been, uh, your comment might have gotten deleted. Strange. TikTok can be haters sometimes. I get it a lot too. They hate on me all the time, which is why I'm shadow banned. If you guys look at my... I feel like I have decent content. If you guys look at my content, you can see that there's like only 20 likes at this point on most of them. I don't know why. Um, but it's because TikTok hates on me. I don't know. It just is what it is. What time is it here now? Currently, it is 11.48 p.m. I am not an early person when it goes, when it comes to like sleeping. Typically my sleep schedule is like, probably not the best thing to say, but typically I'll go to bed around like 12 or one. That's like early for me. So yeah, I don't, I don't really go to sleep very early. Um, I'm really sorry. I can't say your name, but thank you for the follow. Um, TikTok is just jealous. Yeah, I know, right? So jealous. They wish that they were doing Legos at 12 a.m. also. Favorite food? Um, my favorite cuisines are Italian, um, Turkish, and also I really like... Um, Mediterranean food or Greek food. Those are my three favorite types of cuisines. 
I just love how each of them has everything included into them. Like every food group is offered within those types of cuisines. It's never a miss either, which we love. So I'm a really such a food person too. I absolutely love food. Um, I also love Japanese. I didn't tell you guys Japanese, but I do really love Japanese also. Um, but yeah, I love to travel and my favorite, basically I would call it a hobby. I don't really know. I just like to travel to different places and try the food. Like for instance, this summer I brought my brother and me, him and his girlfriend went to Mallorca, which was just for fun. We went to Tuscany and we went to Portofino and I basically just went to try all the different kinds of food. And we stayed at this beautiful farm in Tuscany. It was called Il Boro and they have restaurants everywhere. You guys should totally go. Um, they have one in Dubai, they have one in London, and I think they have them in a couple other places, I'm not sure where. But they grow all their produce there, and I got to see how they grew their produce, and how they raised their animals, and I got to see the entire farm. And then the Ferragamo family owns that place, so I even met the Ferragamos, and they like thanked me because I was posting them a lot on my... Instagram page and they saw it and then they came up to me while I was eating lunch and I thought I was dreaming And they thanked me for like posting them on my Instagram and I was like, whoa The Ferragamo family is literally talking to me right now. This is crazy Um, and then I kind of like became not really friend friends, but we We just chatted a little bit. I chatted to like one of the nephews there. He was super cool and yeah, it was a really cool experience. Totally recommend going there. If you guys like horseback riding too, they have horseback riding there, which I did. Um, and I posted that actually on my Instagram page. Maybe I'll post it on here too. I just, I've been really lazy about TikTok lately. Have you tried Mongolian food? It is so good. I've actually not tried Mongolian food. I definitely should try. And I also haven't really tried a lot of African food. I hear African food is really good also. These hurt my ear because they have this weird backing that just pinches the back of your ear. It hurts. I'm definitely not getting into politics on this live. Sorry, not happening. I honestly, for just because I have a lot of friends in the Jewish community, the whole thing is like very sad to me. Um, but I do have friends in the Arab community as well. And it's just very difficult because I am not from these religions and I don't know about enough about the history of the religions to even give feedback into what you're asking me. And I'd rather not because if I'm not educated in that topic, like I cannot add my own two cents in to what you're asking me to give an opinion on. So I'm gonna stay out of that. I don't think it's fair for people to just like speak on that when they don't know enough information about it to begin with. And I am a Christian from America, so I can't really tell you where I stand with that. Um, so that's all I'm gonna say regarding that topic. That's enough for me with that. It's a very sad, very sad time right now. It's a very heavy time right now. It's unfortunate to see all of these tragedies going on. But unfortunately, I can't give you an opinion on that subject. <clears throat> what's going on, I'm not gonna lie. 
but uh, I would just, I just want world peace. To be completely honest, that's all I want. That would make me so happy if everybody just got along and if we all just, if we all just got along, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Just world peace. World peace forever. What an amazing world that would be. You know what I mean? How about that? That's where I'll stand. I'll stand with world peace, world love, no war, no hate, just justice and love all over the nation. You know? Um, Lego is awesome. I completely agree. I've been obsessed for the past two days now. Look at. I made a little house. Now I think I'm making water. I think this is gonna be water. I'm not 100% sure, but on the box it did show that there will be water being made. So I think that's what I'm doing now. Let's see. When fancy silver Oh jeez. American do this. You're a per wad. Zen Garden. How did you know? The Zen Garden is the best. I actually got, I don't know if you guys got to see, but I got this bouquet of flowers and I also got this whole bug thing and I'm gonna just put these all around my apartment because right now we just have brown earthy tones in the apartment and I really want color in here so I'll show you guys what I made last night. I've just been really obsessed with Legos lately, so oof. I made this, which is up. And I went with you guys online, but then my phone ran out of battery, so I lost you guys. But I made the up house. I just thought it was super cute and colorful. And there's like balloons and everything. And then I also made these roses which I thought were super cute. But as you can see, my house only has like different tones of grays and browns and blacks. And I love color. In my apartment in New York, I have Damien Hurst pieces. I have Kozo pieces. I have a rainbow like butterfly oil painting from the Met Museum. And so I just love color. And that's what I'm trying to add in this house, just to make it more cute and colorful. So that's currently what I'm doing now. I just don't like dark spaces. They don't feel super homey and they don't feel like happy. And I get that. What are you looking at? What are you looking at, huh? And I get that like it's like an aesthetic is making it look super earthy, but I just think it's boring to be honest I need some color. I need some pizzazz Do I need to add more here? Shoot Oh shoot. Wow. I missed that whole part. Oh, maybe not. Thank you for the rose. TFO 63. Yeah, the details on the roof are super cute. I love them. TFO 63, thank you for the roses. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, you guys, I'm trying to get to 10K likes today. So if you guys want to add some likes in there, that would be amazing. And bait with her. The only difficulty was that, that would be great, you guys. So we're but yeah, nice clean, I think my project while I'm here because my gym, I can't use it. Um, I'm just doing at home workouts right now, and because I don't really have friends here because I don't speak Catalonian. I think my project will be just like filling, buying a bunch of Lego sets and filling my house with these flower Lego sets that I found. So I definitely will show you guys 
later on in the week how it turns out. There will be a lot of Lego sets, I'm sure. Um, am I missing a piece? Oh no, I'm not. Wait. No. Yes, I saw the orchid one. I think I might go buy that too. I just have to finish these ones first and then I will go ahead and buy. What am I missing here? Did I put something wrong? Yeah, then I will go ahead and buy the orchid one. I just think this one's so cute with the little like bonsai tree and everything. It's so adorable. Thank you for the rose, TFO63. I don't know why I'm sitting like this. This is kind of weird, but whatever. Let's go like that. Yeah, this is definitely supposed to be a. This is definitely supposed to be water, I think, that I'm making, you guys. But if any of you guys have anxiety like me, definitely buy Legos. I am in my mid 20s. This is a bit childish, but I really don't mind at all. a piece. Weird. The batches of bread were Ow. much larger. Oh. I couldn't mix all those batches of dough by myself. I certainly couldn't mix them all. Look at you guys. Look at the water I'm making. This is more water pieces. issue when you start something and you just can't stop doing it that's my issue when I start these Lego sets is that I always feel like I have to finish the entire thing before I go to bed I just cannot yeah I know I think it is in the wrong bag um I just cannot stop once I start, I just can't stop doing it. So that's what's going on here. We're not gonna stop until I finish. So I probably will be on here for the next like one hour. It doesn't take me very long. The sprinkler scared me. It doesn't take me very long to finish these. Um, but yeah but yeah we're gonna finish it tonight and you guys if you want to watch you can watch me finish it but i just will not stop until i finish and also my 
we have a housekeeper here and she cleans the house every single day and I just don't want to leave a mess for her. I would feel really bad also. So I don't want to leave all these Legos here for her to like feel like she needs to clean it. That would be kind of rude. Kind of rude, not the vibe. Um, My comfort zone is touching food and being able to put it together and then offer it. If I'm not making something myself, then I feel really embarrassed accepting the compliments. And so I don't feel comfortable being put on on a pedestal. J-Man, you too. Yeah. It's just difficult. Once you start something, like, why would you want to stop? Just get it done, man. Just get it done. Get her done. Two. Let's see. Where? But yeah, I think this will be super cute in this house because it's so like dark and I feel like it's kind of creepy just because, just because it is so dark. Wait, did I just do this wrong? My marriage was falling apart. Wait. Being a parent is hard enough and being a partner in a business is also very hard. Ah, yeah, I did. There was a lot of tension, and it wasn't good. Pasha, thank you for sharing my live. Kyle, five five four four three three. Thank you for the follow. You guys could keep liking my live to get it to ten k. That would just be fabulous. TikTok keeps shadow banning my account, and I kind of want it to get more exposure. Um, so that's kind of my goal. This is why I keep going on these lives because I can come and interact with you guys and also get game going back on here. Also, if you guys want to see my house because you guys keep saying that you want to see what my house looks like, I put that on my page. Difficult for me. It was the loss of Campanile. Catherine Periscope, thank you for the follow. Tomcat, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you guys, I will be up for a while doing this. It might be longer than an hour, I'm not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. I took a step back from cooking. I just thought, how am I going to rebuild what I lost? Yeah. 